Scientist Sam, Scientist Sam, I fantasize about him wherever I am. Scientist Sam, Scientist Sam, such a handsome man. And we all love Scientist Sam. It's Saturday, so that means another episode of Scientist Sam. It's starting to feel a little bit like fall. And so I decided today to talk to you about what causes the seasons. Now some people may think that the seasons are caused by our distance to the sun, that in summer the planet Earth is closer to the sun, and winter it is further away. Now that seems plausible, but it's not actually the correct explanation. Here's what explains our seasons. Our Earth rotates on its axis as it revolves around the sun but it does not rotate straight up and down. The Earth's axis is tilted at a 23.45 degree angle. This is representing the sun. As the Northern Hemisphere is pointed at the sun and getting more direct sunlight, we are in summer. And when the Northern Hemisphere is pointed away from the sun, we are not getting as direct sunlight, and we are in our winter. In fall and spring, both the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere are approximately the same level of directness pointing to the sun, so those seasons, fall and spring, are fairly similar in the two hemispheres. That's all for today. See you next Saturday. Hey, you gotta love Saturdays. Another great song from Les. We've got Scientist Sam. And Saturdays are just special also as an aside. You got Bat Masterson, of course. And as a side, some Saturdays there's a beer run to Progress Brewery, and that's really important stuff. Now, if you don't believe in science, <laughs> yeah, right. We have Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen from Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. And as you can see, macaroni is suited up for the season. Doesn't say much. She's a little hoarse. Now, if you don't believe in science, <laughs> yeah, right. We have Marie Laveau, the voodoo queen from Way Down Yonder in New Orleans. And as you can see, macaroni is suited up for the season. Doesn't say much. She's a little hoarse. Well, I'm uh, Marie LeFou, who is a famous voodoo queen from New Orleans, and my scary things are very subtle. I cast spells. <laughs> <laughs> so, it means behave yourselves, unless you want a spell cast on me. Or, if you're looking for love or money, I can help you with all those kind of things also. Very versatile. <laughs> Marie Laveau, Marie Laveau, voodoo queen of New Orleans. That's all, folks. <laughs> well, here's a spokesperson for Cleo, and we're still looking for Christine of the Stars, as Bert would go, and Lasso Leslie. Now, folks, it's been a while. We're going to start a GoFundMe to try to pay ransom to whatever heinous people kidnapped her. They missed the governor of Michigan, but they may have gotten these too. So be careful. And remember, I am the deputy. I will investigate. This is Cleo. And Cleo is going to do the weather report today. But she's kind of sad and walking away because she's not used to celebrity. But there she goes in her chair. Uh, she lost her voice also. So I will be talking for her. I'm her friend. Well, yeah, I'm probably more than a friend. Uh, the weather tomorrow is going to be 84, perhaps 89. Uh, the low may be 66. And there's a 10% chance of rain and partly cloudy. So just enjoy it tomorrow. Just enjoy it the heck. Okay, that's the weather report today from Cleo with my voice. Okay, bye-bye.
And me, Bear Dog. Now everybody ride safely. Have a great time. We'll see you tomorrow for some frightening features.